In this section, we're going to look at IntelliJ IDEA. For the screencast, we're using IntelliJ IDEA 13.1.1. Previous versions worked differently and used a plugin called JetGradle. It is now seamlessly built in on 13.1 and higher. The first thing we'll need to do is turn on the Gradle plugin in IntelliJ. It's pretty simple. Let's go ahead and do it. The first thing you'll do is open the IntelliJ preferences and go to the plugin tab. If I don't have any project open, I just can click on configure plugins. Find the Gradle plugin, check the box, apply, and restart. Now that IntelliJ has restarted, we are good to go. Let's go ahead and open our sample gr project of our Gradle example here and take a look at what we've got. IntelliJ support is fluid enough that will detect that this is a Gradle project and automatically download any necessary dependencies, including Gradle for you. It will also generate an IntelliJ project file as well if you have not opened it before in IntelliJ. Now let's look at the tab we have after turning on the plugin called Gradle. Let's go ahead and run our compile task by double-clicking on it. And we see that our build is successful. It's that simple. If you've run any task previously, you will see the history here. If you've run a task by double-clicking on it, if you right-click on a task, you'll see there's another option for running it. So, for example, go to Compile. We can see options for uh, setting profiles, uh, saving a profile, running it, or debugging it as quick access tasks right there, like most other projects in the traditional ANT support or Maven support. Dependencies are managed like any other project dependencies in the Project Structure tab. So if we click on Project Structure here, we can see that the Gradle support is automatically managing the dependencies and detecting them as part of our Gradle build and showing them here. Another cool feature of the support in IntelliJ is the auto-completion. So I can manage not only from the Project Structure tab, but I can also go into the dependencies inside of the build.gradle file and get auto-completion checking. For example, I can go in here and if I want to say, oh, maybe I want a different version of, Intel of JUnit, I just do my tab uh, sp control space completion here, and it'll automatically find dependencies for me. So if I'm not sure what version or thing I need to include for a dependency, the auto completion will help you find it automatically, uh, which is really really nice support if you're trying to find the right dependency for the right thing. This also works for plugins as well. So if you're not sure of the plugin name, you can always do auto completion there as well, and it'll tell you all the matching plugins that you can use for Gradle. This is a really handy feature if you're not sure uh, what to do. And that's a, the IntelliJ support for Gradle in a nutshell. Its support is the richest of the three here we'll talk about tonight. And next we'll talk about Eclipse with uh, Lee.